Welcome. <clears throat> I am sorry that I'm a little bit late today. Uh, so while I was setting up for this stream and whatever, I was trying to move some stuff around. Ooh. And I cut my finger pretty bad on a piece of glass that was hiding underneath my stuff so that's also why I'm kind of playing like shit <laughs> I'm trying my my best <laughs> it's actually this is really bad for it I should stop that because um, it's still actively bleeding and I might have to dress my wounds here on live which I guess is interesting um, <clears throat> anyway welcome to the show thanks for joining me today I'm gonna play with a bunch of chickens um, my uh, my friend who lives in town, he is a bit of a wing nut, and he had a fuck ton of chickens at his place in, um, <clears throat> in the trailer park. Oh, there's my coffee. And, uh, so he got threatened with eviction. What is up with my camera? Everything looks really weird. Hold on. Okay, I guess there was, like, a smudge on the lens. There we go. That's a little bit less weird. All right. Interesting. Anyway, so uh, he, he got threatened with eviction and, over the chickens, so he brought them to me. And I was not prepared for all of these chickens. Uh, and so it's been kind of like a little bit uh, madness-inducing. So... Uh, yeah, I have fucking 30 chickens. I, I think about 30. I've been trying to count them, but, you know, they're all, like, moving around and stuff. Um, so I got, yeah, probably, like, 30 chickens in my little chicken coop. Which, you know, uh, compared to, like, industry standards, it's still pretty humane. You'll see it. I'll show you. It's actually pretty decent. But what I don't have is enough nesting boxes for all of them. And I'm definitely not going to keep all of them. I'm going to sell... Maybe, like, at least half of them. But in the meantime, um, holy shit, this is, like, really coming out. Sorry if you're, like, oh, sensitive to blood. Oh, it, this one, I got, caught this one, too. Okay, I need to dress that as well. <laughs> okay, it's time to go to the med bay. Mm. There was something in my coffee. Awesome, great. This is my morning. This is my fucking morning. Mm. And there was something else in my coffee that I just drank. Cool. Great. You know what? Fuck it. I'm going to take a swill of this whiskey before before I go dress my wound. <laughs> Make things a little bit more chaotic. How's that sound? Just a little bit. Maybe I should take a dab, too. You know, this is... Yeah. This That's, that's actively bleeding. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> yeah. Um... So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to work on making some nesting boxes and um, I'm going to build like a little, I don't know, like a little chicken jungle gym or something out of shit in my, um, my scrap pile. Um, yeah, everybody's shouting at me what to do with my chickens. You can just shut the fuck up because I'm not looking for like advice or anything. And also I live off grid, so housing a number of chickens is really hard to do. And I already run a library and a bar, so I'm not looking to take on any more business ventures like butchering chickens or breeding chickens or selling eggs. I'm not fucking looking for that. So, uh, yeah, you can just stuff it. Hmm. <clears throat> All right. I'm going to get a bandit on this bad bitch. <laughs> Kiwi 
says their only advice is to give them all top hats. Yeah, actually, I'll take that advice. That's good advice. But, you know, I don't know if I have the time to make 30 tiny top hats. That sounds like a whole undertaking. <clears throat> Jeez. Uh, not exactly sure where to put this, but sure, that'll do. Okay, my mid bay is a mess. Let's see. Uh. Yeah, I definitely don't want like open wounds while I'm working with a bunch of filthy animals. chickens that's really bulky cool this is gonna be really annoying this is gonna make this project kind of annoying so how's your morning going hopefully hopefully it's a little less chaotic than mine uh and it's about to get my, my morning is just about to get a lot more chaotic because these chickens are fucking I mean, they're fucking chickens. They're weird. And they do weird things. And there's like a bunch of different sizes. I don't even know what kind they are. There's just like a bunch of fucking birds in my house. Oh, shit. You'll get a kick out of them. Almost done here. Oh, yeah. I was going to roll a spliff, too. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to set my phone camera in the chicken coop so y'all can like watch them for a minute while I roll a spliff because I'm sure that you didn't come here to watch me like wrap my finger and roll spliffs all fucking morning. Pretty damn sure that's not what you're here for. <laughs> 30 chickens sound the same as Matt talking. <laughs> Um, yeah, essentially, it's kind of like having Matt back here. Just a bunch of fucking nonsense. They make a little bit more sense, though. <clears throat> At least they got their lives figured out. Chickens just, you know, they just want to eat and poop and scratch around in the dirt. They're just, you know, they know, they know what they're doing in life. And I envy that. I really do. Okay. <laughs> Look at this shit. This is stupid. Ugh. Of course. Oh boy. Hey, babies. Let's see. So, whoops. Oh, damn it. My camera is in front of... Ugh. Jesus. Okay. I guess I put my... Um, Thing on wrong. Hold on. Gotta flip this around. Sorry for the technical difficulties, folks. I'm just a mess today. Okay. Now we should be able to see. Hey, birds. Hey, can you move? No, 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 don't come out. Ah, no, no, no. Move. Oh, shit. Okay. Ah, I guess I didn't really attach this. There we go. <laughs> Dilligaff says, I could literally watch you do anything. Hey, quit pecking my foot, dude. Ow. Stop. No, get the fuck away from me. Fuck you. I'm going to eat you first, bitch. All right, here you go. You guys can watch these dumb chickens moving around and being funny and dumb. And I'm going to go roll a spliff real quick. Hey, get the fuck away from me. No, I hate you. You are the worst. This fucker. I'm going to show you the one that I hate so far. So far, they've all been chill. But that fucker, I'm going to fucking eat that one. Fuck you. You're a fucking asshole. All right. The little ones are super cute. Like, look at these, look at these little bastards up on the, on the stick. They're super cute. 
Hey guys, don't eat that. All right. Hey, nope. Get out of here. Get out of here. Fuck out. Fuck off, dude. All right, I'll be right back. I'm gonna go through roll a spliff and uh oh, don't 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 escape. You stay there. Fuck you, you fucking dinosaur. have food anyway. You're first. Yeah, fuck you. You guys are cool though. Beep. <laughs> okay. I like these ones. These ones are kind of cool. Yeah, this spliff ain't for you, fuckers. Wow. If there's any vegans on the channel, and I'm sure there is, uh, you know, if you're going to eat meat, like, you got, I mean, I personally think that if, if a person is going to eat meat, and they should fucking um, become familiar with like what it takes to process your own meat. Some people eat meat every day and they've never butchered an animal and I honestly find that kind of fucking disgusting. But um, I do prefer when I can to get humanely sourced meat. Um, and if, if I live in a city with like you know, decent co-ops and stuff, I could definitely go vegan again. I was vegan for like a month or two, like years ago. Hey babies. Guess what? It's not food, ha huh? Oh shit, I don't have a lighter. Get out of here. Nope. Hey, fuckhead. Fuck you. We are gonna have problems here. Get out of here. No, get out of here. No. I don't like you. Yeah, fuck off. Seriously, dude. Oh, come on. Hmm. I grabbed some matches. Oh, dude, get off! That same motherfucker. Oh, shit, there we go. It's just this one, that one little bastard. 
They just, like, won't fucking give up on harassing me. This is why I hate roosters. He's one of the roosters. There's, um, <clears throat> I want to say, how many roosters do we got? One, two, three, four, five, maybe, like, five roosters. I fucking, I hate roosters. They suck. They're annoying. They're, uh, aggro. And they, like, I, I just don't like animals that personally challenge me. It's like, yo, I'm alpha in this house, and you are not. You're a dumb chicken, and I'm gonna eat you. Hmm. So maybe next time I employ the kill cone, I'll, uh, do that on live, too. Anyway, oh. Check out these cuties, though. I like the white ones. And I like these tiny little fuckers. The the rooster up there on the perch, I actually kind of like that one. He's chill so far, and his rooster crow is actually pretty cute. It's just like, dur, 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 and it's not like super annoying. And he's not doing it constantly. Actually, none of them are. Oh, look, my cat wants to eat them. You're not going to eat these birds, son. I am. kitty nope she can't get in though i do have to fix part of the roof there because i think that they could get through with enough determination but they haven't figured it out yet um so i gotta patch that in a little bit too mm. hey derpies look at you and they got this food i need to i think i need to no they still have food in there hey dum-dum no one's like bald don't peck me. Whoa. I like these hawk looking ones though. Uh, they've only been here for a couple days so far, so I don't expect any eggs yet. Nope. Let's take a look under here. Nope. So, it, usually when you, um, when you rehome chickens, they won't lay eggs for a few days afterward because, you know, they're like nervous and unfamiliar with the spot they have to like take a few days to um kind of get comfortable with the space so i'm gonna help them to become a little bit more comfortable with the space by going out to my scrap pile and grabbing some shit let's see what we got Ugh. My allergies are still killing me. Ah, it's annoying. But, you know, what, what do you expect when you live in a fucking tree? Hey, Satan, you gonna lead the way? What the fuck? Something stuck on my foot? Okay. All right, let's see what we got. Hmm. Well, I can definitely employ these little boards back here. And there's a couple of these, which is what I used to build the little steps up to the boxes. And there's a bunch of Tent poles. Maybe I can, I don't know, that might be a little slippery for their little claws. Hmm. Alright. Yeah, we'll start with this. around set up my wonky ass tripod
And with these, I can just kind of wire them together with some baling wire. Ugh. Just taking my out of my mouth. Ugh. Yeah, I can just put these together with some baling wire and make something. I don't know. We'll see. I'm probably going to have to grab a few more things from over here, too. But I only have one free hand, so that's a thing. Uh, yeah, <clears throat> Will pointed out that I do get notifications if you donate on PayPal as well, so I can shout you out. Um, oh, well, thanks to everybody who donated already. I've been distracted, so I didn't see that people kicked down already. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right. Oh, that scared him. Sorry, guys. I'm going to go get my wire. We'll start trying to piece something together. I have absolutely no, like, plan in mind here, as usual. Okay. Where the fuck is my wire? There it is. All right, I'm gonna need some bailing wire and I'm gonna need some pliers. So let's see if I can find my fucking pliers. Hmm. Huh. Where are you? Damn it. These ones will work. No. This is another project that I need to do tidying up this fucking shed. I'm just going to leave that open for now. Oh, hey, we got a bunch of uh, cool folks in chat. Let's see who we got here. Oops. We've got, okay, we've got Aaron, Will, Conspiracy Theorist, Rosie's here, Exploring Idaho. We got Lieutenant Dan, nice. Nomad Mac, hi, how's it going? Jason three, whatever the fuck said it, I voted for Trump. Uh, that's an instant, instant ban. Where are we? Come on. Oh man. Stupid app is fucking up again. Hey, can one of my mods ban that Jason three, three, whatever the fuck guy? Cause voting for Trump is a uh, vote for getting the fuck off my channel. There we go. Thanks. Beautiful, I love it. Yeah, if you voted for Trump, then fuck you. Mm. Fuck you. Mm. Hey, you dummies. You want a cool thing to play on? Oh, Thomas Junkins says, Junkins is here. I don't know who you are, but cool, welcome. Lieutenant Dan says, I vote for you. <laughs> Hell yeah. Hey, how's it going, Wendy girl? Yeah, I know this isn't the greatest spot for the camera to be at, but I'm just going to move this stuff into here. And then I'll put the camera in, so bear with me. Hey, fuckers, back up. You're not coming out. It's not a thing. You're staying in here. All right. Yeah. 
and you're not coming in. Nope, 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 nope. Uh, I heard a notification sound. Let's see what we got. We got a PayPal from my... Thank you. Oh, hey, how's it going? We got a couple guests here. They, um... I spend mornings at the hot spring, and they like to come in when uh, around the same time as me. So, yeah. I'm doing a live stream. Oh, hold on. We gotta get consent before putting people on a live stream. Hey, I'm live right now. Is that okay? Yeah. Cool. I'm uh, working on the chicken stuff. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. Hello. Hey. Care to introduce yourselves? Hi. I am Salty Weasel. I'm Bobcat. Hell yeah. Yeah, I was just telling him that uh, we like to bathe at the same time. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah, that's the thing. Um, wow, you got some great looking birds. Yeah, I'm pretty stoked, but uh, I'm also looking to kind of offload a number of them. Yeah. Right now, I'm just trying to make them a little bit more comfortable. That motherfucking dick neck yeah. bastard, I hate him. And yeah. I'm probably going to just... He's the first to go. He is the first to go, man. Yeah, he doesn't look too great either. Well, yeah, and he's just like an asshole. Yeah. Yeah, I was like in there a second ago, first. and he just kept... Yeah. He just kept fucking bothering me. Well, if you'd like my personal experience, I would get rid of the silkies first. The sil which one's the silkies? The ones with the white... The white ones on top of their heads. Oh yeah. Uh, I always, as a kid, said they were too stupid to live. Um, <laughs> they do stuff to like suicide all the time. They're really, really, really dumb. Okay. The bantams, those little brown ones. Yeah. Uh, those are keepers. Yeah, I like those ones. Yeah, they're real smart. They <clears throat> keep rats away. Sweet. Um, yeah. Even the there's a male. I don't know if he's the same yeah. type as them. Yeah. But I kind of, like, that's the totally. first rooster that I've actually liked. Yeah, that would be the, the rooster I'd keep. Yeah. They're, they're not usually super aggressive to people. But and they're, they're tough, but they're yeah. small. You they're small, and they're little cockadoodle doos are, like, not abrasive yeah. at all. They're kind of funny and yeah. cute. You see But I'd keep some of the bigger females for the oh, yeah, egg production. Oh, yeah, for sure. Because your bantam eggs are pretty small. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm figuring. But also, since they're small, they're easier to keep. Um, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Ed, do you want to take a look around the library? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, feel free. Go ahead and just poke around. Like, there's pretty uh, obvious signage for, you know, staff-only areas, but... Okay. Yeah, feel awesome. free. And if you see a book you'd like, feel free to take it with you. And there's also a free table out back. Uh, nice. I brought you another bottle of cider. Oh, yes. Yes. Thank you. Yeah. I appreciate that, that Bobcat. I really do. I love me a good cider. All right, I'm gonna get in the chicken coop and start fucking around. If you guys have any questions, feel free to ask. Move, move chicken. Get out of the way. Oh, perfect. It's a nice cider to enjoy while I'm fucking around with these little dinosaurs. Yeah, that's right, I'm talking about you weirdos. See if I can even align this in a way that makes sense. There we go. Hey, get the fuck away from me, dude. I do not like you. Oh, that's good stuff. Mm, mm, mm. I'm trying to figure out where I'm gonna put this, where they're not gonna shit on it. All right, let's see what we got here. I think. I think since there's already like kind of a piece of wood coming off here that I'll kind of build something up off of that. Well, let's see. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> Let's put something here. Start. It's pretty simple. I'm just gonna wire that down so they don't remove it. Hey, pup. What are you doing? Are you being a little dog? You're so cute, Satan. Actually, that seems like it'll stay there. Hey, dude. What's up? I guess I could wire a couple of these together and make it longer so that I can stretch it across here a little further. I think that's what I'm going to do. I could screw it together also, but it's like, hmm, nah. They're just chickens. They'll be fine. Oh, where's my pliers? Don't poop on my cider, fuckers. Hey, buddy, what's up? Are you fucking stepping at me? That's what I thought. Yeah, bitch, this is my house. Yeah, shut up. This ain't food either. No, don't look at me like I'm food. You can fuck off. Whoops, shit. Dudes. Hi. Yeah, what's up? Alright. Stupid chickens. Not food, dude. Promise. Hey, fuck off. No. Nope. Nope. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Don't even. I fucking can't stand you little bastards stepping at me. Fuck off. You guys make it really easy for me to want to kill you. Yeah, I should probably be wearing some shoes. They keep pecking at my feet and stuff. Well, my foot, rather. Hey, dum-dums. Back up. All right. Just gonna bring this. Oh, that's not even tight enough. Um, my dog is a female, actually. Don't let the chicken sip the cider. Wait, they might make for tasty eggs. I don't know if that would change the egg flavor, but yeah, they ain't getting my fucking cider. No way. Mm -mm -mm. Gotta get this nice and tight. I just, I mean... It's not crazy important to, like, make this super... Ow! Fuck! Hmm. Jesus. To make this super strong or anything. But I just like to make stuff that lasts... Oh, man, it broke. Go figure. Make a purchase? Yeah, making some purchase for him. Hey, buddy. <laughs> Uh, that's Satan. Oh, hi, Satan. How you doing? Yeah, that's the real, actual devil herself. Oh, good. Well, I'm glad I met you, and it was not a crossroads. <laughs> oh. So I fucking accidentally broke this, so I'm just going to double it up here, because it doesn't hurt to do... And I'm going to try again. <sighs> BMX for me case says hi from Santa Cruz. Oh, and I got another notification from PayPal from Leona Jones. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Hell yeah. You guys rock. I'm just going to twist this up real quick here so that doesn't break again. Now they're starting to learn to stay the fuck away from my feet. 
Yeah, that's right, dudes. You got some pretty punk rock looking birds there. Yeah. It <laughs> got like mohawk. I know, right? <laughs> pretty funny. Yeah, I was gonna. There was a couple people in town that were looking to buy some birds, so I'm gonna see about getting some money for them, because I am. Except for the kind donations during this stream. Thanks again. Um, other than that, I'm fucking broke as a joke. I came here with, like, almost literally nothing. I had a broke down van and my backpack and the contents in it and what little I had in my van. And over the course of the last six years, I have uh, built myself kind of a... A home and a business. Yeah, and nice home. Yeah, and a little bit of a... Starting kind of a little farm almost. I've got a lot of chickens now. And I have five cats, which help with pest control. And I got my dog, and she's a working dog, of course. Oh, wow, we've got another kick down. Hey, buddy, don't fucking peck at my foot. Not cool. Little bastards. Mm, little fucking raptor claws and teeth. Bunch of dicks. There we go. Yeah, Satan is a, a play hound. She is always spanging for the next ball throw. Yeah, she'd get along with my girl. Yeah, Satan's a super good pup. Well, that's a tug toy, not a throw toy. Yeah, well, you want to play tug of war? Yeah, I got, uh, like, house rules with the dog. We don't throw balls in the house, ah. so she only gets the tug toys in the house, and then she's got a, a ball out back. Yeah. The rules. Yeah, but she also knows that guests don't know the rules, <laughs> so she'll find anything to, like, you know, see if they'll pick it up and throw it, and I have to tell them, like, no, no balls <laughs> in the house. Because Satan has a lot of torque, and she will just yeah. wreck everything. Like this Andy Warhol looking bird. Yeah. Let's see what we got in the chat. Uh, oh, yeah, I think that I saw another paper from Mike Bodily. Hey, dude, no. Fuck off. You're pissing me off, dude. Oh. Thanks, Mike. Appreciate that. Just want to get this nice and tight without breaking the fucking bailing wire again. That's the thing about bailing wire. You want to get it tight, but, like, if you don't double it up, it's going to break. Which, I'm not doubling it up again, because, I don't know, freaking lazy. Maybe I'm lazy. Or maybe I'm just being lax on my perfectionism. All right. Hey, dickheads. How you doing? Don't peck me again. I will probably kick you at this point. Don't make me kick a bird on live stream, please. <laughs> it's just bad optics. <laughs> <laughs> Poor form. 
going to get like a thousand comments from a bunch of people saying like, oh, you're an animal abuser or whatever, because it's the internet. People got to... warning you, dude. You could be the first to go. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I've, I've swagged my dog out on live stream before, and I had like a dozen comments like shaming me for like being a dog abuser and it's like bro come on <laughs> like get over it you gotta swag dogs out sometimes or they don't learn you know it's just it's just the way it is in a dog pack like if <clears throat> a member of the hey fuck you if a member of the pack the disrespects you know like the alpha or whatever, then the alpha will fucking throw them on the ground and show them who's boss around there. And like, that's important for their order. So that's how they communicate with each other sometimes. It's just, you know, biting each other's scruff to assert dominance, etc. It's, it's their language. So, you know, sometimes that's what you got to do. All right, got to make sure that I tuck in this little corner here because I don't want them to stab themselves on any protruding wire. And I'm really careful to do that with all wiring that I do in the chicken coop because like I just don't want to have to deal with like, I don't know, giving chickens medical attention if I don't need to. Just extra work. I'm just gonna knock this down a little bit. There we go. And then I just run my finger over it. Oh, that one broke again. Fuck that. Whatever. Who cares? And just run my finger over it and make sure it doesn't cut me. Cause like, if there's a way to hurt themselves on it, they will figure it out. And yeah, that's just something you gotta keep an eye on. Cause chickens are mad dumb. Let's see. Put this one. Do you have problems with rodents up here? Um, well, I have five cats. So, um, I mean, yeah, there's there's always going to be problems with... Um, yeah, that's, that's the worst one for chickens, I think. Well, out here, the biggest concern with having chickens is um, actually ants. Because the ants, uh, one year, I left the library to do some work for like five hours, right? Came back and my four laying hens had been eaten alive by fire ants. Oh, that's terrible. Yeah. So when the summer rolls around, I'm going to have to figure out a system to like keep the food up off of the ground and keep them safe because the fire ants will move, they move quick on a hot day. They'll like take over half the library in a matter of hours. And they can strip a small body down to the bone in, like, literally three hours or so. So, that's uh, my main concern. I might even just get rid of all the chickens before summer just to keep it simple. Because that is a real morale killer. And I'm going to be trying... To, um, I'm actually going to be trying to find a summer crew... So that I can do another epic Alaska trip nice. and uh, make another, you know, another uh, travel series like I like to do. Because, you know, I've been sitting put for a good while now and i got to keep things fresh or else I get bored. You know, like uh, a little adventure in between times being here really helps me to like refocus and remember why I'm here and what I'm doing and you know, why I do it. It's like, uh, you know, that saying, absence makes the heart grow fonder, right? Mm -hmm. So if I can get a good travel in, that'll have me set for like another year, and then I won't feel so restless all the time. Come on, fucker. Because feeling restless is just not that fun. Feeling like road sick. But, uh, Sometimes you just got to sit with it, too, because then it makes you appreciate the road more. So it's like, you know, it's that yin and yang kind of balance. Travel and sedentary. Not wanting what you don't have, but aspiring to 
you know, keep it fresh. That's what I try to maintain focus on. That's how I can, you know, knock out so much work and so many projects and keep my focus here. Because I have a goal, you know. It's important to have goals. Yep. I agree. Especially attainable goals. Yeah, I mean, it's, you know, it's not a completely far-fetched idea to, to be able to find enough crew to survive here over the summer and hold space so that I can go and do cool stuff. It's, you know, it might not happen, and if it doesn't, then I'll sit tight for another summer and plans for the next summer, but, um, you know, I, I really need it real bad. Well, if we didn't have our land, we would have but... Oh, yeah. Well, if you ever come across anybody else that's looking to do something interesting and challenging yeah. for a season, um, you know, I train people in so they know what to expect and what to do in certain situations. Like, I would never leave people high and dry here without, like, yeah. you know, <laughs> without, yeah, ex all, all the things that they need to survive and a knowledge of how to utilize them. So that's uh, that's what I'm trying to manifest. So yeah, I'm just putting that word out there, putting it out into the universe. Got a couple of people I could ask. People that like you know, especially skilled folks. Like you don't have to necessarily be skilled to in order to like just exist here for a summer and hold the space down. Mm -hmm. But if you do have like off grid skills and mm -hmm. some type of you know knowledge of this type of way of life, that's a huge asset, but it's not necessarily required. The only thing that's like a real deal breaker for people being out here over the summer is if they have like a drug problem or if, um, if problems that like, you know, like if they're more susceptible to like heat like that, then absolutely I don't want to leave people like that, you know, out here to potentially die. Because that's, that's not good. We don't want anybody dying over it. All right. Hmm? Good name for a dog. Yeah. yeah. She's the real actual Satan. Huh, Satan. That's why she's got that one white eye, so she can keep an eye on the underworld while she's uh, skinwalking. Come on. Man, wrapping this tight is like way more of a chore than I thought it was going to be. All right. There we go. Oh, somebody's getting some. Hey, don't be a dick. Oh, I think that was a little love. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Have fun, weirdos. <laughs> oh, fucking chickens. Fucking chickens. All right. Come on, fucker. Do this. Oh, come on. This is great TV. Watching me fumble with some fucking bailing wire for 20 minutes. Cool. Yeah, great show, Cornelius. <laughs> Fuck. Well, the things in life worth doing are worth doing, right? <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> it doesn't make it easy. Nope. Oh, and I got to make sure these little wire bits get picked up so that the chickens don't eat them and fucking choke on them. They're so stupid. They, if there's a way to get themselves fucked up at all, they will fucking figure it out. There we go. Alright, that ought to do it. And uh, I'm definitely going to make some more, like, spots that they can climb up here, because this is really high up. I'm just starting with this. Because, obviously, they're not going to be able to jump from those two down there up to this one yet. We're gonna make that. We're gonna make that a thing. Let's see what people are saying in chat. Oh, thanks, Will. Will's telling me or telling you if you're loving Cornelius Van Gogh's live streams, and I know you are. Perhaps you'd like to go even further down into the cornhole and join the cool kids in the Discord. Good post, Will. Yeah, check out the Discord. Check out the T-shirts um, and all the links that. 
Will is posting, and also make sure you hit the like and subscribe button if you dig this kind of shit. Um, I do a lot of other different kinds of segments as well. Hey, Jill. Hey, Odell. Fuck yeah. Feral says, I hope you see through Washington. You got a place to crash for a few days. Cool. Yeah, I, I do like visiting Washington when I'm heading through. I, I like Washington a lot. And if I did do, uh, if I did make it out of the Alaska trip, I would want to take the ferry and take my little whip with me across and then just travel across Alaska in King Ratchet, which would be really neat. Cause like, <clears throat> um, I bought it for 200 bucks and did some work on it and it's, it runs fine. Um, and I think it would be really, a really neat, like, um, docu-series to just see how long I can run that thing before it breaks down or somebody takes it from me. <clears throat> so, I don't know. We'll see. If you're out there at home being an armchair off-gridder, then, uh, and you got nothing better to do this summer, hit me up. Hey, buddy. You know what? I don't like you. Go away. Fucking dick neck bastard. Weirdo. <laughs> yeah, you heard me. He's talking mad shit, too. <laughs> Gotta admit, there's one of those uh, silkies that looks like Liberace over there. He's really sparkly. I might, I might <laughs> keep a couple of them just because they're neat looking. Yeah, they are. And they, they haven't pissed me off yet. Hey. Okay. I just had really bad luck with them, maybe. We had a lot of predators. Oh, yeah. Were, like raccoons and stuff. And... Right. Raccoons are hard. Yeah. Yeah, there's, a, you know, there's definitely a lot of predators here, too. The guy that gave me these chickens was like, oh, you should just let them run around and, you know, just keep the, the pen open and they'll come and roost at night. And I'm like, no, dog. Like, yeah. I've had an entire flock of chickens just like slaughtered in an evening by just an errant dog right because i listened to your advice the first we saw time a fox right over here before too oh yeah there's foxes there's coyotes there's just dogs running around like it's just not i'm simply not just gonna like let my chickens run around out out in the yard or in the tree or anything plus like i mean I'm running a library. I'm not going to have chickens shitting on books in the library. Right. Like that's, that's just not my prerogative. I went down to Key West one time, and they've got just chickens all over that island, running all over the place. <laughs> yeah, we used to have uh, wild chickens on Taipan. We called beanie chickens. Just live in the jungle. Talk about your property and like what you do for a minute while I'm fumbling around with the wood. Well, we're just she getting talks. started on uh, rebuilding a cob, um, what well, was a sandbag, earth bag um, building that was started. But we don't have a lot of progress yet. I've still got to start editing some of the videos together of our work so that we can put them up. Do you have a YouTube channel? Not really, no. Well, when you do, set, shoot me the link and uh, maybe a shout out or whatever. Okay. Yeah. yeah, we got a Facebook group or a Facebook page called Dusty Flats. That's the name of our property is Dusty Flats. What are you doing up there? Um, well, we just got it this last year. Bobcat got it with his disability payout. And um, we're planning on making it into a campground for wastelanders. Oh, that's cool. Like people from the wasteland party, uh, or like actual yeah, wastelanders? or just just that theme. Yes, that's just the theme. Like so, actual wasteland. Yeah. Yeah. That's cool. So like people can come up and, and camp and relax in that kind of environment without necessarily being at a wasteland event. Right. We're gonna build some wood-fired hot tubs and uh, we got lots of plans. Cool. It's a five-year plan. <laughs> well, I know uh, one of the organizers for Wasteland Weekend watches my channel, so maybe if he's watching, nice. yeah. we could uh, exchange info or whatever later. Yeah, we'd like to find somebody who'd be 
able to bring us a car to uh, bury on the property so we can use it for a fire pit. That's mm. one of the, the plans that we have. I mean, it's not hard to find a busted down car. Yeah. Right. Yeah, finding the car is not the hard part. It's Getting it transported it. is the hard part. Yeah. It'd be nice to get something with some personality, too. Mm. Chickens. You've got some great quail out here, too. Yeah, it's a lot of, uh, a lot of quail, especially in, like, the spring. Certain seasons, they're just like breeding, or like right now, um, all the ones from the spring are like fully grown, and there's a lot of big fat males running around yeah. right now, and yeah, they are just looking mighty tasty. There's, yeah, there's tons of them. They, I saw like um, this pack of quail that ran through my yard a couple mornings ago, and they were like legit, like six fully grown big ass beautiful males that I just oh I attempted to get my bird shot out and um yeah, we got bags some of them but trying to, trying I just to have too much meat right, right now I don't I don't feel good about killing yeah. animals when I already have plenty of yeah, meat yeah that makes sense yeah process. yeah like I'm not gonna hunting if I have meat in my cooler or my freezer it's just it's against my morals right Let's see, how long do I need this to be? There is something to be said, though, for getting it when it's all fat and plump and, and oh, I know. ready to be harvested. Yeah, it's, I mean... Just keeping it. Yeah, uh, it's just like the logistics of storing meat out here. It just takes a lot of work. Does anybody do canning out here? Um, I've been interested in getting into canning for a while, but, uh, I don't have the stuff for it. That's the yeah. thing, like, you know, obtaining stuff. Yeah. All right. Well, we're finding that it's, uh, really helping our travels. We, um, oh, yeah. did a lot of gardening this last year, and so we brought down that, and next year I plan on doing more with pressure canning. That's cool. Um, so we don't have to pickle everything. Well, I haven't tried your pickled stuff yet, um, but I did have your pickled beans in my Bloody Mary that yeah, Bobcat made. That was almost the other day. like a whole jar of pickled beans. It was, too. those were so good, yeah. Yeah, they're tasty. Yeah, you hooked it up, man. I needed that. That was an intense morning. Yeah, that was a pretty intense morning. Yeah, the cauliflower ended up being one of my favorites, too. I uh, never pickled cauliflower before, so I was pretty surprised. Never experienced pickled cauliflower, but it it's sounds good. interesting for sure. Yeah. yeah. But this next year, we're hoping to like take things like squash and peppers and you know tomatoes and just do like chop them up fine and can pressure can them mm -hmm. so they don't have to be acidic. And then uh, when we get to do a meal, all you have to do is dump a whole jar in, you know, to your meal, like, a, you know, rice or whatever. Mm -hmm. And so it'll be a lot easier eating on the road without having to, like, you know, bring vegetables with it and chop them up. Ow, fuck. Yeah, that's, that's practical. In... And more soups and meats and stuff that are already ready to go. Right. That sounds awesome. I use my dehydrator a lot in the summer. That's kind of my go-to. Um, and like between the dehydrator, which I need to rebuild, but uh, and uh, the smoker, which I'm going to build, uh, that's pretty much what I. Is it a solar dehydrator? Uh, well, yeah. I mean, it's literally just like a bunch of tempered glass uh, framed up, and you know, there's like. Uh, you know, there's like the racks and stuff, and I it, it works in the winter time too. It, it's a little slower, but in the summertime, it's just so damn hot. Mm -hmm. Anything you put in there um, is just like dehydrated instantly. Like it just takes a day. Yeah. Um, and I do a lot of meats that way, and just make some like super fresh jerky. Mm, How jerky. do you store it? 
Um, like, without it going bad. Yeah, I've had problems with my jerky molding. Uh, I usually, well, it's, it, it's like, honestly, it's, like, so dry and okay. so hot that, like, it almost turns them into, like, crisps. Yeah, you probably don't have as many mold problems down here anyways. So no, I have never had any type of mold issue out here. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Um, yeah, I can't, well, except for in my water tank, mm -hmm. in my, my water tank, we had to clean it out recently because there was just like a lot of just gross, some type of build up a uh, growth of something in there. And we had to like flip it on its side. It's like a 350 gallon tank mm -hmm. and I had to flip it on its side and me and my buddy took turns just like scraping the gunk out of it. And, um. It was a big project uh, to over overhaul it, so that's that's like the only kind of mold issue I've had, because we use raw water and then we filter it in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. mm. So that raw water has you know just tons of bacteria and algae and sh shit in it. Let's see what everybody's saying in the chat. Oh, George M says, I like that dude's bowler. <laughs> Fuck yeah. I got this for $3. Very cool. <laughs> Lieutenant Dan says, corn is committed to temporary chickens. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, you know what? Go big or go home, man. Like, <laughs> just because I don't intend to keep all of them and I'm probably going to eat a lot of them uh, doesn't mean I can't have a sweet little area to play on before they die. I mean, that's all we can all ask for anyway, right? That right. <laughs> we sort of plan on doing the same thing with hogs. Mm. We're going to get in, get one early in the season and take care of it. And then right at the end of the season before we leave for the winter, we're going to butcher. Well, don't name it. Don't put sweaters on it, man. Right? <laughs> that's what I was saying. I <laughs> don't make I it Instagram like, for it. I think we should get like five of them. That way <laughs> I won't get attached to the, just one. Right, yeah, pigs are just so, I mean, they have so much character, too, it's they're like... They're so much like dogs. Uh-huh, yeah, they're dog-like, they're a little human-like, yeah, they're, they're definitely very easy to, like, connect with, that's for sure. I I don't know if, I mean, I it, obviously if I had a hog, like, I'm gonna do what I have to do with it, but I, I think that it would be really hard for me to not right. feel some type of way about it. Yeah, I had a problem with that. Like, we uh, decided to keep rabbits mm. uh, one time, and I was a lot younger. And then it came time, came time to uh, butcher them. And taking them out of that cage, like the little hutch they were in, oh. and doing it. Like, I could set snares for wild rabbits all right. day long. I have no problem. But taking them out of that little hutch and then killing them was, like, <laughs> rough on me. Yeah, because it's like, they kind of know what's going on, you know what's going on, and it's like, you just have that connection there, and it's like, wow, you're like a mortal being with feelings and a soul or whatever the fuck you got. And yeah, it's just like coming to terms with mortality. But that's also why I think it's important to do your own uh, butchering, too, because like I was saying earlier in the stream, if you're going to eat meat and you have no experience with what it takes, you know, put that meat on your plate, then, like, fuck you. You're right. enjoying that meat because you don't, you've never, like, looked into the eyes of the animal that you're about to slaughter for your meal. Like, that's just, I don't know, like, it, you, you shouldn't be so out of touch with what it takes to do that. Yeah, I grew up hunting, like, besides pre sliced sandwich meat that my mom would buy at the grocery store, all of the I, I, yeah. I like that. You know, you give the animal a good quality of life and enjoy it, enjoy it, it enjoys you, you know, everything's peaceable, and then there's just a quick end. Mm -hmm. You try to make it as painless as possible, right. I think that's exactly what you should be doing. Yeah, I have kind of a chicken slaughtering ritual, like, I'll, like, hold their head in my hands while they're in the kill cone, because the kill cone, they're just, like, calm, and I'll just, like, kind of say a quick, like, thank you, and, I don't know, like, a prayer... Yeah. 
and and then I say, you know, like goodbye or uh, it's embarrassing. I don't even like understand the reference, but I say like good night, sweet prince, and then I like slice their <laughs> little head. But you know, you gotta do it real quick and my blade is very sharp and it's just like Yep. You know, it's painless. If I go that way, I mean I guess I can't complain either because it's not a bad way to go. <laughs> I'm just kinda calm. Their big feathery feet. Yeah, that one's feet is crazy. Here you guys can watch the fucking tiny dinosaurs chilling. Yeah, they are dinosaurs. They are. This weird little dinosaur creatures. I don't know why they like it under there much so much than up in the roosting boxes, but they're gonna need to the ground in the summer at least because because of the ants and the snakes that is why i have this um this siding uh it's called soffit i guess um ah! and i had a bunch of it in my scrap pile so we wired it along the bottom uh so that a they can't dig out and snakes can't just slither in right <laughs> yeah, a lot of good comments here. Nikki says, yes, I got live, inspirational people. Fuck yeah, thanks. Uh, conspiracy theorist says, respect for the animal. Yeah, you gotta respect the life that is sustaining your own. Yeah, and Oracle also says, I always give thanks for the life that was given to sustain my own. Cool, fuck yeah. Soulful Freedom Heart says, Hi Cornelius, Happy New Year! Thank you, Happy New Year. I mean, it's not a New Year yet. It's New Year's Eve today. Yeah, it is New Year's Eve. <laughs> yep. What better way to celebrate the coming of a new year than to talk about the life and death struggle of poultry while building a little playground for them? <laughs> yeah, those ones with the feathers on their head kind of look like cockatoos, almost <laughs> like little bastard cockatoos. Fucking yeah, weirdos. Yeah, we'll see how they lay. Um, most of these chickens came in just yesterday, so they probably won't start laying for another few days. Um, and then there was, oh shit, how many were there before? I think there was like 10. No, I think there was 12. So I guess half of them came in like a few days ago, and then the other half came in yesterday. I believe that there is 30 of them, maybe 31. It's hard to count them because they're always moving around. At least that dickhead isn't trying to fuck with me anymore. Oh man, I just stepped in a fresh poop. Blech. That's what I get for walking around in here barefoot. Chicken shit. There's a little chicken shit and everything. I don't know, that's a good eating size for one. Which one? Uh, I'm, those little tiny ones are a good eating size for one person. Yeah, they're almost like Cornish game hens or something. Yeah. I just bought a couple of Cornish game hens, like, uh, you know, processed and frozen. Yeah. They're in my freezer right now. I was in the process of, like, getting my groceries when I got the call that I was receiving, like, fucking a lot more chickens. So, that felt kind of weird. It's like, oh, I don't, I don't really need to be buying this right now, but also I'm kind of just, like, unprepared for this news. It's the way you can celebrate your new chicken friends <laughs> by, by eating, eating some of them. Things kind of like them. Yeah. I was, uh, when I got back, what I had bought for myself to eat is this, um, like, keto pizza, like, frozen pizza, and the pizza crust is made from, like, cheese and chicken and stuff. And I'm just sitting on my couch over there looking at these new chickens and, like, telling them, I'm eating one of you. Mm -hmm. Hi, welcome to my house. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, probably, you know what, the way the chicken industry
pieces of like a hundred of them. Right. All right, let's see if... Hey, little climby birds. Let's see if you like it. Let's just try. Come here. Can you let me hold you? Can I hold you, please? There we go. Chicken wrangling. Here you go, buddy. Try it. Here. You just want to sit on me? Oh, careful. There you go. See. There's other sticks. Okay, bye. Well, I guess I could get one of those little ladder things and have it going up. Oh, I think it's fine. Yeah, they'll figure it out. The ones, the little ones really like to climb and they were climbing up these two here and looking around for like the next spot to hop up. Yeah, they're probably just waiting until you're out of the area, but little little chickens usually fly better, way bigger, better than... Whoa! Them. I just got a kick down from William Holgate. Wow, thank you so much, dude. I really appreciate that. Damn. Fuck yeah, you guys. Thanks for showing some love. Really appreciate it. Maybe I'll do something... No, I don't want to get it. Well, up here is all pretty contained, so maybe I'll just put this up here. I don't even think I need to wire that one in. Nope. Nope, that one's stuck. Get this out of the way so I don't try to eat it and choke on it or whatever the fuck. That looks kind of fun. Oh yeah, man! Your ingenuity and all the the random pieces of metal. You guys oh, have. I know. Yeah, you know that's kind of my thing. Is just I always say you got to work with what you got, and oftentimes I have a bunch of stuff mm -hmm. that like you'd look at it and be like, I don't see how the fuck that's gonna make a chicken coop. Like, mm -hmm. there's just no way. Mm -hmm. And then you just have to make it work because it's like, well. I am, this is what I have, I need to make it into this thing or else I'm not going to have this thing and then I can't continue to improve my life. Um, so it's like, uh, that's what I'm doing with the shower house right now too, I'm building a shower house and I'm going to do another, um, another segment on building that, but like, I'm working with a bunch of stuff that like, has no business becoming a shower house. And it's just, uh, it's a lot, but I have to do it. Somehow, some way, it's got to be done. There we go. I should do. I'm gonna get my filthy sweatpants all a little bit filthier. But first, I'm gonna drink some of this out here. <laughs> Cheryl says prowess as a master builder. It's fucking epic. Oh, thanks, dude. Yeah, you see what the roof is made out of here. Look at this. this is a big piece of bamboo and a bunch of like drop cloth and whatever the fuck this is. And yeah, it's. It's a thing. And then um, a lot of these, these sticks that I use for the, for the support here, uh, I actually, you can watch me gathering them on another one of my Chores Outdoors episodes. I think it might have been like my first one, um, it, where I go out into the wander wasteland with a rope and a hatchet and, you know, fell all these little um, saplings and brought him back here to rebuild my chicken coop roof. Oh, they're checking it out. Sweet. Yeah, I think as many as you want. I have a lot of them. Yeah, I have a feeling it produces quite a bit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and in the in the springtime a bunch of uh they they out fresh seeds and they are super tasty they taste kind of like edamame yeah i was going to say you can use them for chicken feed too yeah yeah definitely um not when they're hardened though they're like rock solid you probably sprout them yeah but you have to score them before you sprout them like you have to you know <laughs> scrape across them or break the outside yeah. <laughs> now they're losing interest that might be worth it 
and it's really nutritious. Yeah, and you can grind them into flour too. Mm -hmm. It's good for uh, diabetics. It's really low glycemic index. Really? Yeah. Oh, that makes sense. As a flour replacement. Yeah, there's also um, I have a big mesquite in my yard, uh -huh. in the side yard, and um, it you can make flour of that too. Apparently, from mesquite, it goes for a lot. Well, that's what I was thinking. Palo Verde was pretty closely related to mesquite. Um, I mean, I I mean I don't know if it's closely related to mesquite, but it's. Yeah. It's and similar, it's like the... That has the low glycemic index. Yeah, the mesquite index. flour is like one of the latest health crazes. Mm -hmm. What kind of mesquite do you have? Um, I don't know, it's just a mesquite. Okay. <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm looking for a specific one, but I doubt I'd find it down here, one that's really cold tolerant called a velvet mesquite. Okay. Yeah, I don't know what the specific type is out here, or if there's like multiple ones. I guess I should do some more research on the... Local flora, I mean, you know, there's never never a shortage of new things to learn about the place that you live, especially when it comes to flora and fauna. It's very important. Okay, I gotta affix this here. This is actually turning out pretty sweet. And it's uh, kind of a really low impact chore here too. So it's like, you know, it's kind of just like, I feel like I'm just playing like Tinker Toys or some shit. Hey, little Silky. Can I hold you? Can I hold you? <laughs> Look at this weirdo. Can you even see? <laughs> it's kind of cute. You look fluffy and angry. Look at this fluffy, angry little dinosaur. I like their feet. Yeah, they got little fluff feet. Beep. <laughs> Okay, bye. See you later. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, tiny chickens. Hey, dipshit. I hate you. Yeah, I'm gonna eat you too, man. Hey, weirdo. Hey, don't fucking peck at my fucking fingers, dude. They want to eat my wounded fingers. You little bastards. Okay, now you're back in my space and I hate you. Get away. Okay, guys. I think it's only fair. What's that? eat them and they want to eat you. I know, right? We know who's going to win this battle, though. It's the circle of life. <laughs> hey, no, dude. Fuck off. Fucking dickneck bastard. That's what your name is, dickneck. I kind of like this one, though. She looks like she's... The hawk one? She, yeah. Do you know what kind that is? No. Yeah, I like these ones a lot. They're neat. Yeah, their faces definitely look like a hawk. Yeah, they're like little chicken hawks. Hawk chickens. I don't even, I don't know. Yeah, they're cool. I'm going to affix this last piece here, and then I'm going to go do a dab, and maybe uh, maybe play a little ditty and send it off to your, the rest of your New Year's Day. Yeah, it is. It's very nice. Did you check out the courtyard and back and stuff? Yeah. Yeah, it looks like you have a little movie theater back there. Yes, I do. That's pretty sweet. Yeah, we show movies from time to time. I've been understaffed, like I said, so I haven't been sure. taking on any more um, things that I need to. I'm just kind of like, you know, doing a skeleton crew sort of situation. But when we do have extra crew and it's not COVID times, we show awesome videos and have a really great time one of the last things that we did was there was a presentation on cat history and it was absolutely delightful like um this guy came out and presented like a slideshow and an educational um presentation about like just like especially specifically american cats and like how uh, the U.S. has, like, tried to treat them. So they went from being pests to being, like, prized companions mm -hmm. um, over the course of, like, the industrial era in the U.S. And, like, there's some crazy shit on it. Like, he was talking about, like, they would have them on, um, like, war dirigibles and stuff. And they had, like, they had, like, 
cats with actual ranks and stuff in the army and the navy and it, it's it's wild. I should uh, I should give a shout out to his book before the end of the stream. <laughs> yeah, sneezy chicken dust. feed and leave my shit alone oh hey it's john of course it's john the guy that gave me the chickens is uh rolling up right now and we received 25 bucks from kayleen okay cool thank you kayleen i really appreciate that fuck yeah wow you guys are so fucking generous it's amazing really appreciate it hey little bastard Hey, how's it going, John? I'm on live stream right now. Okay, I've got uh, a couple of babies for you if you want a few more. You have more? Yeah, little ones. Okay. Right. Help. <laughs> Please save me from all of these birds. I'm just building a little climbing spot for them to poke around on. I'm going to have to put something across the bottom there so they can get up, but yeah, anyway. Let's try and let these ones in without letting the other ones out. Okay. Let's flip the camera around. There we go. Uh, this guy is called Little Big Mouth. Little Big Mouth? Little Big Mouth. Oh, yeah? All right. They're pretty cute. Hey, you little bastard, get out of here. Move. All right. Let's try and get them in quick before the go, go, other ones go. try to get out. Go. Oh, come on. Go, go. Yeah. Perfect. Success. Cool. All right. Well, now we got three more birds. Oh, boy. Um, George M is asking, how do new chickens introduced in the coop get along with the established chickens? Well, all of these chickens were already living together in another space, so it's not really an issue here. All right, weirdos. And I brought you a feeding tray. Okay. Extra feed in it. Cool. You want to just set it right out there, and I'll grab it in a sec. Okay. And nice. I know they like green, so we got some green for them. Okay. And I've got a little left of this compressed bale of hay. Oh, very nice. So that cool. Keep you going. You have a good day today. And Thanks, John. Glad to help. John, you want to say hi to the people? What more can I tell you? <laughs> you got one heck of a good person here, and she has. Done I'm a they, John. Still a they. She's done something incredible with the library. They them. Them, me, them. me, they. I'm sorry. Yes. Them. Uh, I'm <laughs> school. I got to get used to this stuff. But, uh, yeah. Well, thank you so much, John. I okay. appreciate you. Okay, you guys have a good one, and we'll see you then. Have a good day. Oh, boy. Oh, man. Yeah, John's a regular here. He's, uh, he's pretty all right. Uh, and yeah, that's a, that's a good segue too. If you didn't know already, if you're fresh to my channel, I am a genderqueer individual. Uh, I'm trans non-binary, so my pronouns are they, them. 
but you know sometimes people don't understand that so I just say like I'm a I'm just a dude just a regular dude all right let's put this together about yay long get this together and uh, and then I'm gonna call it because I think that this is all I need for now oh you guys knocked over my shit fuck you oh and you pooped on it fuck you <laughs> bastards damn chickens pooped on my side Yeah, we got more birds, dude. Again? Yeah, three more birds, Robert. That's crazy. I know. That one's gotta be new, the white and black one. Yep, that one's new. That's little big mouth, I guess. Yeah, we're gonna probably slaughter a couple of these roosters. There's two of them that I personally hate. And, um, I've been talking around to a couple people in town who wanna purchase some. Sweet. Mm hmm. So then we can fucking have money for important stuff like beer. Yeah, mm -hmm. beer. Mm-hmm. Y'all going to the colonel? Mm-hmm. Gonna deep fry you bastards. Yeah. All right. Yummy. Oh, man, it's got poop on this, too. Fucking chicken shit bastards. Well, speaking of which, we'll start bringing you our compostable vegetables and stuff. Oh, cool, yeah, that'll save me a bucket load on feed. Like, when I got the news, I was getting all these chickens. Like I said, I was in the line at the grocery store <laughs> spending my last fucking dollar on, you know, food and stuff. And, and then, like, on the way home, I just, I was like, I can't even, like, afford to pick up hay and chicken scratch for these bastards like what am i gonna fucking do um and then uh i i didn't even ask for money but i i was kind of bitching on my facebook a little bit and um a couple people saw it and were like yo what's your paypal like we can send you money and um so then before i even got halfway home i was able to stop over at the hardware store in calipat and pick up some feed and hay um uh, well not hay i couldn't well i i guess i forgot the hay i was able to pick up some feed for him and uh yeah that was that was pretty awesome so yeah i i thank everybody that donates um you guys are you make a huge difference like i'm literally just a fucking like homeless person turned off gridder like you know a lot of people that live off grid um like, you know, it's like a, a lifestyle choice, right? And and it's all like, it's all Instagram glamorous and they get all the best shit to do all the things that you're supposed to do for your fucking Insta likes, which is fine, is great. But like, you know, I, I literally came from the street. I was a fucking street punk for most of my teenage years. So like, you know, it's a... Uh, it's not a rags to riches story, but it's like a rags to better rags story. <laughs> oh boy. Let's, let's take a look at these fucking goofballs. Have they laid any eggs yet? No, I don't expect that they will for another few days. Fuckers got one job to do. <laughs> <laughs> they usually will take uh, laying hens a few days to get calm enough to start laying in a new space.
Get some chickens. Chicken battles. Well, hey, don't leave without grabbing a book or something. There's also zines on next to the magazine section. Yeah, there's no due dates, no library cards. <laughs> Every book comes with a free chicken. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Alright, almost done with this one, and then we'll be done with this little mini project here. And I guess I'll just do the, the extra nesting boxes later. Hey. Thanks. Yeah, um, I've got a, a whole YouTube video talking about it, but like when I moved here, it was... Uh, the, the front room that you're standing in right now was the original library that was built by Rosalie, but uh, it had been abandoned for the better part of 10 years, and uh, I don't know, it was, it was on the verge of collapse when I moved in, and yeah, that was in 2014, and I've just been building on ever since. It's a lot of work. It's really well organized. Thanks. Yeah, I mean, I couldn't do it without the help of my volunteers here. Um, not to this capacity anyway. And it really does help. So, yeah. <laughs> I'm totally spanging for library crew right now, but if, if you uh, want to be one of those valued volunteers, just hit me up. I do have a Slab City Library Facebook page, and I'm also on Instagram. Just Cornelius Van Gogh. No spaces. That's it. At Cornelius Van Gogh. You'll see my goofy pictures and you'll know it's me but uh if you're interested in volunteering some time here any amount of time then uh you know hit me up and let me know uh thanks for being here today kiwi i will catch you later hey don't peck my foot dude There's one of the silkies is just staring down my middle toe like it's going to do something. I don't know. It's not a worm, dude. I promise. It's my toe. Please don't eat it. All right. Thanks. Don't don't eat my toe. I only have five of them left. Come on, man. I need those toes. Alright, I'm just gonna smash this down. You folks wanna do a dab before you go? Dog cat might. I do, I do. You do? Wow. Cool, alright, let's do it. I'm just gonna affix this here. I might go grab a bowl. Yeah, yeah go for it. I'm keeping an eye on the dogs. Yeah. Oh, that's in there pretty good. Alright. Yeah. Well, I mean, I, I did wabi-sabi measure it. Let's get away from me, fuckhead. I hate you. I really don't like that one. He's a fucking asshole. All right, there we go. Cool. I think this will be good. Now I'm just going to turn this around. Yeah, I don't like you. That's right. You're the one. You're the one that I don't like. Look at that fucking asshole. You gonna climb on this new jungle gym? You don't really climb. Yeah, it's it's not crazy, but it's pretty cool. And I'm definitely gonna build more. It's just one of those things that takes a lot of time. For, oh, hey, sorry, buddy. I'm just gonna move that over there, and those will be for future use. Hey, dingus. All right, I'm gonna grab my stuff. And I'm going to get the fuck out of here. Because these birds are fucking making me crazy. Driving me loco. Let's do this. Put this rock over the edge so they don't... Pop out the bottom. Cool. 
Yeah, there it is. I guess I'll post pictures on my Instagram later when they're all sitting on them. That'll be kind of neat. Okay, I gotta put away my shit. Mostly my bailing wire here. And then me and Bobcat are gonna do a dab. And then we're gonna fuck off. There's my poop covered cider now. All right, let's put this away. Put that right there. All right. Uh, class M. I didn't have chickens until a couple days ago, so. <laughs> That's probably why you didn't realize that I have chickens. Um, I'm gonna go and grab my dab stuff. Let's see. Let's go to this table over here. Oh, thanks for the uh the reminder will about the t-shirts and if you want to donate through paypal that is greatly appreciated we have been <laughs> i mean i know we're all struggling during these times obviously so like if you don't have the means to donate don't feel bad about it i would never want anybody to put themselves out just to help support me but if you do have you know two bucks that, that you want to throw, it, it, like, literally, whatever, like, I don't expect, I don't expect, like, you know, anybody to give me a bunch of money just because I'm fucking around in the desert doing weird shit, but, like, I really do appreciate it, and it does help myself, not only myself, but also the community, because I provide, um, a lot of resources to the community as well, and that's kind of my kind of my thing right now so yeah yeah and since we're closed for the for the most part I am opening for this weekend um, but since we're closed for the most part here at the library um, I've been kind of changing up my game and instead of oops, sorry about the noise here I'm just making this smaller instead of um, you know relying on uh, distributing books and selling beers as my livelihood. Um, I've changed it up and started doing more like just supplies distribution to people in the community and like um, like food and medical supplies specifically. So if you want to help with that, um, I believe that my mailing address is also in the description and you can send like non-perishable uh, healthy type food to that address or medical supplies and it will be put to use. Oh, uh, Jake's saying, how do I donate to you? There are links in the description. You can donate through Super Chat here on YouTube or if you want to do it direct and then Google doesn't get a cut, you can donate it directly to my PayPal and um, Will Davidson just posted a link. Um, a second ago but it's also in the description so check that out and there's other useful links in the description like the discord server and um and t-shirts and also my buddy who designed the t-shirt um has just started a web comic so if you're into that kind of thing you should for sure for sure check out his web comic because it's fucking hilarious and yeah he's a really talented artist Hmm. You want to go first? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Here, I'll sanitize the rig for you and everything. Oh, I'm not sanitary. You know what? <laughs> why don't Why don't you? Uh, I'll start this, and you can just like run the end over the flame, so it'll kill any germs that are on yeah. it. Yeah. You know what to do. Just the mouthpiece, really. Yep. Yep. And I assume you know how to do a dab, right? Yes, mostly. Mostly. Yeah. I'll let you know if you're getting it too hot or whatever. 
I'll take tiny ones. Okay. Yeah, I like to take tiny and low temp dabs. Yeah. If I take too big of a, a dab, all those hallucinogens start kicking back in. <laughs> yeah. The activator. Uh, Fear Oracle, the link for the webcomic is in the description. Just pull up the description and it's right there. Um, yeah, he's fucking awesome. It's called, uh, I think it's just called Het County, or no, it's called Guts. That's right. Mmm, that's tasty. Yeah, it's a sativa strain. It came from my friend 80-Bit, who I think just left a chat a minute ago, because she's going to work. But, uh, she works at a dispensary. Oh, oh, thanks for posting the link, Lou. Ooh, it's still hot on this end. Damn it. Oh, I fucked it up. Oh, no. I botched it. Fuck. I botched it. Damn it. Let's try this again. It's just going to pull my chair over. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Okay. That's fine. Oh, she is so powerful. She is, yeah. You could like, you can literally lift her up off the ground and like throw her around and she won't let go. Yeah. Does she have a split in her tongue? Um, or, yeah, it like I think she had a split in her she tongue. She does, earlier? yeah. I think she bit <laughs> through it while playing fetch or something. She's one of those, one of those creatures that just like, oops, sorry, I didn't mean to blow that on your face. Has just like reckless self abandon. Yeah. Like when she's playing, she just she just plays hard. And sometimes she gets really injured, <coughs> like fucks herself up on stuff and doesn't even notice. And she'll just like be bleeding all over and still trying to play. And I'm like, dude, you just ran through a fucking barbed wire fence, you idiot. We got one of those in the truck right now. Has a, uh, I think it's more like a rug burn than anything else. But it looks like a gash. I think it's from the reeds running through the cattails. Word. <laughs> yeah. I was playing fetch with Satan one day, and I threw the ball, and it bounced in a way that I wasn't expecting it to. And she just, like, leapt over this, uh, like, wood pile, and a chunk of her, uh, like, her side like, caught onto, like, a protruding piece of wood, and she just, like, ripped off, like, this huge chunk, and just didn't even notice, and I was just, like, fucking, I was terrified, like, dude, that's not okay. <laughs> yeah, I think Spectre was probably running, because it's, like, right under here, and I think it just went under her armpit, and then slid through, and... Yikes. Those cattails are pretty hardcore. Did you want to, Oh, you're smoking a bowl. Yeah. Cool. Okay. All right. Do you want another one, dude? Yes. Cool. Dabs hit me too quickly, and it makes me feel kind of sick. So I like the weeds a little slower reaction. Did somebody pull up or something? Or is that just chickens fucking around? Okay. It's new new sounds. I have to, like, identify right? new sounds. That's a thing when you live, like, outdoors... For the most part, like, you know, you're just in tune with your surroundings. Yeah. And, you, you know. You can get used to a lot of noises, the regular sounds of the night and everything. Right. And, and I can sleep through that, but then, like, one, like, unfamiliar crunching sound, and I'm, like, wide the fuck right? awake. At the same time, that train goes at, like, you know, 3 o'clock every night. <laughs> Wake up 3 o'clock every night, fucking train! I grew up near it. A train track, actually. Hey, we're closed. The door was open. Sorry. The door. Oh, yeah. You came in the back way. We're gonna be open this weekend, though. Okay. Yep. If you guys want to grab a book before you go, that's fine. Sure. That's that's not kid stuff. That's uh that's a smoking area. Oh boy. Smalls making the world uncomfortable everywhere they go.
Oh. Yeah, they... <laughs> there's, like, really obvious signage on the road at the fork, and it says library this way. Right. And people will still pull up around back, and then just, like, walk in, just clueless as fuck, and it's like, you guys don't know where the fuck you are, do you? Mm-hmm. Like, you're in fucking Slab City. This ain't Epcot. <laughs> no, we're not historical reenactors. Like, this is, you know, this is a hysterical reenactors. Yeah. Hysterical reenactors. That's a good one. Oh yeah, I can't play us out today because I cut my fingers up. Sorry guys, no no music today at the end of the stream. <laughs> I apologize. Um, but yeah, I'm not I'm not about to open these up again. <coughs> nice. That's a healthy dab. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I see. They're wealthy ATVers. <coughs> That's why they feel entitled to walk into people's houses the back way. Okay. Wow. Is that a Jesus fish on their flag? Uh, it kind of looks like it, huh? Oh, and uh. a lot of them, like, I've been seeing a lot more of them lately with, like, um, alt-right shit or, like, fucking... Uh, blue line flags? Yeah, I, uh. I see them, like, like weekly now. Yeah. And it's like, you know, the only people rolling around out out in the fucking slabs right now vacationing or anybody, like, traveling and vacationing during this time are going to be, like, wealthy science deniers. and like, Or people, people with no the, choice. Right. Yeah, or people with no choice. But, like, <coughs> the, yeah, I, I've been seeing a lot more ATVs, and they roll deep with, like, three to five, sometimes yeah. even, like, ten ATVs at a time. And they've all got, like, the fucking blue line flags and, like, Confederate flags and Donald Trump flags. Yeah. And it's like, I literally, I don't feel as nervous any other time as I do when there's, like, fucking ten deep of these alt-right fuckwads rolling around, like, because you know they have, like, tons of guns and stuff, too. They got tons of money, tons of equipment, Mm -hmm. and, like, it just, it, it's... You know, I mean, I'm I'm sure in a lot of places where people are living now, you're experiencing similar too. Like they're just really emboldened and aggressive right now. And and, and for me, I feel like they feel they have a bone to pick, and mm-hmm. they're waiting for somebody to say something that they can leap on and attack. Yeah. So, and statistically, they can get away with it. Right. That's the best the way. The, right. the best way to handle those people are just to ignore them because they want the attention. Right, they do. They want the attention. They want you to give them a reason to fucking you know like. Yeah. And, and like I'm pretty public about what I do. Like you know I fucking make jokes. Like I'm the fucking I'm fucking the president of Antifa. You know <laughs> we're Antifa headquarters and you know we're the fucking gay agenda and shit. Like <laughs> you know it's like. I make these jokes, but, like, yeah, I mean, it's not untrue. Like, yeah, I'm a fucking SJW cuck. Fuck you. Like, <laughs> you know. But um, being public like that and, you know, there are very real threats to people that, you know, are like me. And that's definitely something that I do, like, keep in mind. Yeah. You know, I'm always ready to defend my space and my home from that sort of threat yep. and it's the unfortunate reality of the world we live in today <sighs> all right yeah but at the some some side of it tells me though that mm. i'm a person of privilege very much being who i am and that i should jump on that hand grenade as often as i feel capable that is called being an ally mm-hmm. yeah um, you know, I'm they're gonna, gonna grab my smokes. And there might you guys be, like, are taking people. over my show. <laughs> oh no! <coughs> if if there's like 20 people that are um you know just hanging out and that one person says that horrible thing and they all just let it fly, then that person feels right. more Being able complacent. to do it again. Yeah. 
saying nothing emboldens people. Yep. We can't let the bad guys win. But we have to be mindful of the people who's actually being affected and let them guide the messaging. Where's my fucking smoke? Oh, here it is. <coughs> oh boy. Roar. I have no idea what she said, so if it was fucked up, I'm sorry, everybody. But yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm sure. I'm sure it was just fine. I said, let the Marxists win. Let the Marxists win. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. I don't know if I necessarily agree with that, but I, I have. I have no uh, like personal objections to that either. I guess it's. I'd rather have that than like you know the fucking dystopian oligarchy that we have. <sighs> Can't get any worse. Oh shit. Mm. Yeah. You're this is just on the, the cut. This is just year one. God. Yes. <laughs> God. This is the cusp of the change. Oh man. Well, yeah, that, but you know what they say, like after the plague came the renaissance. So you know. Yeah. Let's uh let's knock on wood here. <laughs> yeah. Oh boy. Yeah. It's, uh, you know, times have always been uncertain. And I know I get on this existential rant about how, like, you know, you're dying the moment you're born and the world has always been ending, etc., etc. Anyway, chickens are cool. And, um, <laughs> chickens are cool. And I've got, like, 35 of them now. So, uh, you know, there's that. <laughs> playing with Satan. Yep. I was watching this uh, video this morning <laughs> about this lady in India who, uh, not single-handedly, but she's credited with um, reforesting these 90 acres that were like so over-farmed that nothing could grow there anymore. And I was thinking about how like through most of our generation's life, we felt completely powerless to do anything because there was just so many people that were so much more in control and i think this year has really kind of like been an eye opener for you know a lot of people about how um much control has been taken away from us and i hope that we all start doing more stuff like on the individual level like that lady and uh you know try to make the world a better place and that's I mean, kind of been our philosophy in, in a capitalist society, you know, like, it's not really glorified to sit somewhere and try and improve mm -hmm. improve your space in your life. Like, you know, everybody's all, like, I, I made a Facebook rant about this. Like, it's, you know, it's that same <coughs> attitude of, like, live fast, die young that's so popular in capitalism. But, like, you know, it's, things are changing, and, you know, the new punk rock is a lot more wholesome, and just, like, there's... You know, doing things against the grain and against the status quo. And right now, what that is, is like building and sustaining and, you know, trying to become like a little bit more solid for the future. But everybody keeps saying, what can I do? I'm just one person and I don't feel like I can do anything. It's like everybody can do something. Get out there and create something. Make mm. something meaningful. It doesn't have to be big. Like your chicken coop, you know, free stuff that you came across. You're not an expert that went to school in it. You're not like somebody mm. that, you know. I'm is... just a fucking street punk. <laughs> yeah. Right. And and it's like, if you can do that and, and people like you can do all of this, then what is keeping us? It's just that idea that mm. corporations are in control or, you know, the man is in control. And I think the biggest thing that you can do personally is to like, withdraw from that control you know mm -hmm. like just um you know like join a community or like you know providing for yourself and just kind of withdrawing your dependence on the system that they've created for us to exist in all right totally. we like to uh as we travel around we try to plant fruit trees like near water sources mm -hmm. anytime we find a water source we'll try to uh you know, plant a, plant a fruit tree or drop some seeds somewhere. It may not be an immediate 
pro producer, but down the road, somebody's going to have fruit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was looking at this really bleak map of the U.S., like old growth forests and um, like back in the 1940s versus now and like, or maybe even, uh, it must have been in 1870, I don't know, I can't remember the exact year, but it was like late 1800s, I want to say, and like old growth forests covered like most of the East Coast and most of the West Coast and, you know, like it, it's, and then the the map today, there's like literally almost nothing. No old growth on growth. the East Coast at all. Yeah. Like yep, everything, all that stuff is like third growth at yeah. least. Uh, even the big, <clears throat> huge oak trees that you find down South and stuff are like secondaries. They're not old growth. Yeah, and, the, and a lot of that, it's called uh, desertification, and a lot of that can be fought with these <coughs> trees that you have right around here, the legumous trees, mm. with, uh, you know, methods called chop and drop and stuff like that. We can start building soil on small levels and start creating life all around us, and anybody can do that. Anybody. It doesn't, you don't have to have any skills whatsoever. Just watch a couple of YouTube videos. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, we're almost at two hours here, and uh, I really appreciate you guys. I'm going to just uh, direct you to the um, description here. There's a bunch of links. Check them out. Um, and these nice folks that have been visiting me here today, um, they do not have a channel up yet, but they're thinking Dusty about Flats on Facebook. We have Dusty Flats on Facebook, so you can follow them and also definitely uh, follow my Instagram too, just Cornelius Van Gogh, no spaces. And I'm, I'm posting on there like almost every day, so you can see what I'm working on and stuff. And join the Discord server. And uh, hmm, what else? I'm gonna shout out to all of you folks that donated today. You guys are fucking amazing. Um, seriously, like, you're the reason I keep going for you guys. It's for you and for me and for all of us. We're here and we're doing it. Let's keep doing it. Uh, thanks for joining me. I'm fucking off. <laughs>